Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So before we get started, I just want to say that recently I have been struggling with doing my voiceovers. Honestly, being a content creator, doing voiceovers is one of the hardest parts for me. So today I'm going to be trying to talk throughout while I film the video. So this is like pretty much I would say like my first time doing this and one reason why I kind of stood away from doing it is because I do have dogs and they like to be in the room with me while I'm filming or while I'm doing my nails and sometimes they get a little carried away with playing with each other or playing with their toys so it can be a bit loud at times. Another thing that I was also thinking of is that you will hear like the packaging crinkle or like if I'm touching something too loudly it may pick up very loud and make it hard to hear exactly what I'm saying. But today I decided I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and I'm going to try talking throughout the process of this video. Now I don't know if for sure this is going to completely work. So I'm just saying this so if I do use this voiceover footage that you guys are aware that number one, if the sound quality is a little bit different, that is because I'm using my phone to record and also I'm talking. If I find out that this does work, I may end up getting a microphone that I can use while filming, like a clip-on one. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, that way you know if it sounds a little bit different, you know the reason for that. Also, if you hear any weird noises, sometimes my chair makes noise. And then also coming back to the dogs, they also like to make some noises, including snoring. But anyways, I have a huge Daily Charm haul. You guys know Daily Charm. It's my absolute favorite brand. I do have a discount code with them. It is nailed by Brandy and I will have it down below in the description box along with all of these products. So this month they had so, so many new goodies. I was so excited and honestly, I wanted to get this video out as quick as I could just because I knew that these items were going to become very popular. I knew they were going to sell out. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. I know I was watching their live on Friday and I know that some of their magnets have already sold out, which you will see in a second here. I'll be showing them. But let's go ahead and jump in and just take a look at everything I picked out. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the first item. The first thing we do have is the little thank you card. This is very cute. I love that cat eye design. You guys know Daily Charm is super popular for their cat eye gels. The next item we have is the magnet and paper clips are also included because you know of that super viral heart cat eye nail trend and this magnet will actually work perfectly for that trend so I really like how they also included some paper clips. I think that's actually kind of funny. But here is the magnet, so I don't know exactly if everybody will get um, the same amount of paper clips. I don't know if they just kind of threw that in there because of the viral trend going on right now. But you do get some paper clips, which is super nice. And just in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I can leave a video linked up in the cards. That way you guys know the viral trend. But I'm sure if you guys do your own nails, I'm sure you saw this somewhere. It has been super viral. But anyways, here's a paper clip that I already have bent to make that heart design. And basically, you will just attach it to the magnet. And then you will be able to like do the magnetic design. So this is just a cylinder magnet. Really nice. I cannot wait to try this out for that trend. This is a very strong and powerful magnet and I do know it works for this trend because I've seen um, the videos on Daily Charm of them using this magnet for that cat eye design. I also know that a lot of people were super excited for this to launch. So I did pick up this magnet just because I wanted to try it out. And then of course it also came with the paper clips in case you don't have any paper clips and you bought this magnet so you can try this trend. It's really nice and thoughtful that they included some of the paper clips. 
the next magnet. I'm very excited for this one. I'm pretty sure the name for this one is Ninja Star. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure that they went through with that name. But this magnet is so crazy looking and I just had to have it. I was so excited for this. If you have so many magnets, um, I have so many. This is so nice because all of the magnets are like connected in one thing and I feel like you don't really have to worry about holding a bunch of different magnets and you guys know with magnets they like to stick together but with this thing it's super nice because the magnets are each in their own little home and there's so many different designs that you can do with this. I may actually take the video from the Daily Charm Instagram and pop it up on screen just so you can see some different ways that you can use this magnet here since there is a cylinder magnet, a rectangular magnet, there's two smaller rectangular magnets, and then over here like a T-shaped magnet and then also this little flower magnet which I think is really cool. I can't wait to try this. I may play around with this in today's video. I know this T1 here actually makes a French tip and I'm really excited to try that. So I may play around with this magnet in today's video but it's really nice. I'm so happy to have this and again can't wait to try this out. The next new item is this pair of scissors. I love small scissors like this. It's perfect for cutting nail foils or even just opening up maybe like stickers or packaging. So it's really nice to have a good pair of scissors like this. Not only are these scissors really nice, they are also so pretty. Just look at that like antique design. I love that. These scissors are so stunning, almost like just like a decorative prop. These are so cute. I love the design. It's so vintage looking and like rustic. These scissors are also very sharp, so make sure you are careful. But these are going to be perfect for using like when you're doing your nails if you need to cut nail foils or something like that. So I really like these and I can't wait to use them. I also just love how small they are. I feel like they are really the perfect pair of nail scissors. The next item is this little heart nail stand. I just thought this was really cute and recently I've been using dual forms or doing stuff like that and having these cute little nail stands just make it so much easier when you're designing your nail or patting the poly gel into the dual form for example. This just makes it a lot easier to be able to hold the nail tip versus needing to struggle to hold a little nail tip and also just look at how cute it is. I think it is very sweet. I like it and it just you would put like some sticky tack right here and then you'd be able to stick on your nail tip so you can pre-design it. The next item is another new item. I told you guys from the beginning Daily Charm was really hitting it off with this month with new items and this is a rose dust brush. I already have way too many dust brushes but they just come in so handy. I'm always using one no matter what type of nail set I'm doing. I'm always brushing away dust or glitter. Um, so this one, I just thought it was too cute. It is a rose. I have two other ones like this, one that has like a gold handle, one with a black handle, and I just think they are really cute dust brushes. So I just decided to pick this one up. They're also super, super soft, and I just think it's so pretty that it is shaped like a rose. The next item is just a little bit of a restock for me. I needed some new Diamond Shine Gel Top Coat. I love this top coat from Daily Charm. It is amazing quality. It really leaves your nails with a beautiful glossy finish. And I'm running out, so I just grabbed a new bottle just to restock on this product. Like I said, I love this product. It has a great consistency, and it also leaves your nails super glossy and shiny. The next item is a new one of their new releases, and it is a sticker album. I love this so much. I love organizing my nail stickers and Daily Charm, I always, no matter what haul, I feel like I'm always picking up nail stickers from them. So this is so perfect. I've really been filling up my sticker books because I've been getting so many nail stickers. So this is so perfect that they now um, sell these sticker books and it's super easy that you can just put in a sticker sheet. And there are also so many pages. 
if I'm remembering correctly, I think this holds like up to 80 or 90 sticker sheets. I can't remember for sure, but it definitely holds a lot. There are a lot of pages here. The pages, each page can also hold two stickers sheets on the front and two sticker sheets on the back. So it can hold a total of four sticker sheets on each page, which is really nice. Another thing that this is great for is also holding nail foils. Um, I know a lot of people just like to use containers and roll up the nail foils, but I feel like for me, because I have so many, it is always just a little bit more convenient to stick them into a photo album or a sticker book just because it saves a little bit more space. But I am so excited for this and to go with this sticker book. I also picked up some stickers. <laughs> As you guys know, like I just mentioned, me, Daily Charm, taking a look at their website, I always need to get stickers. So let's start off with their new release stickers and then I'll show the other ones. So these are their two new stickers. They also have these bows in white and black, but I decided to get the silver and the gold. These are so cute, so coquette. That is very popular nail trend going around right now. And when I saw these, I just knew I had to have them. Honestly, um, for next month when I pick out my PR package, I'll probably pick up the white and the black just because I think these are so pretty and they're just like really the nice little touch if you love girly things to add something to a nail look. So like I said, I did get the silver. These are so pretty. They are so chrome, but these are the silver ones. So pretty love those and i also like how all of the bows on here there are a few different varieties of like shape of the bow which i think is really nice they're not all the same also the size as well some are a little bit larger and some are smaller but here are the silver ones here are the gold ones again with the sizing and kind of like the different shape of bows some are smaller some are larger very cute. I love having the silver and the gold. And then of course, like I mentioned, I'm definitely going to get the white and the black. I also got some more sticker sheets. Two of them are Deco Beauty and then the Daily Charm brand. So when I was picking these sticker sheets out, I was thinking about upcoming nail sets being spring. So I remember I had this beautiful floral sticker sheet last year and I really loved it. So I decided I wanted to get another one of these. I just love the pop of color in these flowers. I also love how some of them have stems and then other ones are just the actual flower. So I just thought these were really pretty and I wanted to have another sticker sheet of these just because of how much I loved them last year. I also found this sticker sheet. Again, I just really loved it. I thought it was so pretty and I thought it would be perfect to incorporate in upcoming spring nail designs. Just again, these ones, a pop of color, but they're also smaller, which I really like. And there's some greenery on this sticker sheet. The next two sticker sheets are from the Daily Charm website, but they are actually the Deco Beauty brand. These stickers are always so cute. I love how they are miniature. They're very tiny. And these stickers are also perfect for doing like the sticker collage nails where you just add on a bunch of different stickers. These sticker sheets are also really cute. Like look at the little peeps. Those are going to be so perfect for Easter. And there's just very good variety on this sticker sheet. The peeps, some flowers, dice, um, aliens, butterflies, cherries, smiley faces, butterflies, boba, band-aids. So many different things on this sticker sheet and all of these are so adorable. The last sticker sheet is also from Deco Beauty. Again, just very miniature stickers and we have a good variety here. There are some rainbows, um, peace signs, flowers, smiley faces, dice, um, some stars, mushrooms. I think these are mushrooms. Um, flowers, little swirlies, just a really cute sticker sheet overall. I think this would be so perfect for spring and that's kind of what I had in my mind when I was picking out these stickers. I also love how some of these do have that gold finish to them, giving them a very pretty metallic look. 
The next item I picked out are some of the Daily Charm Charm Gel Extension Tips. You guys know I really love these tips and I don't think I've tried the ivory colored ones yet. I've tried their blush, like the pink toned ones, but I don't think I have any of the ivory. So I picked these ones up in the Coffin Medium. These are really good nail tips. Also pairing it with their Charm Gel Extension System, the Primer Dehydrator and the Builder or Extension Gel. There are 550 nail tips in 10 different sizes. And like I mentioned, these are colored and they are pre-colored in the shade Ivory. Opening up the box, it does show the um, nail system, like the step-by-step. -step. And then over on the side here, it also shows the sizes ranging from size zero to size nine. And then it has the um, like sizes for the nail tips. This is provided on the website. So before you purchase these nail tips, you can take a look at the size guide and see if the nail tips are going to fit you before actually purchasing them, which I think is super nice because I know sometimes people struggle with getting small enough sizes or large enough sizes. So this is just super helpful. Here are how the nail tips look. Very beautiful color. Um, I Like I said, I don't think I've tried this ivory shade yet, and I think it does look very pretty. Almost like the Irish cream charm gel color. This may be very identical. And thinking about it now, I may have actually tried this ivory because I think I may have paired it with the Irish cream color. I can't remember for sure, but this is so pretty. I love this. It's just a really pretty nude nail tip. And like I mentioned, these are pre-colored soft gel nail tips and they can be applied using gel. You can see here that they have that transparent look to them. So applying them with gel, you are still going to get a full cure because the nail tip is transparent enough for the light to reach through and cure the gel product. This shape, the Coffin Medium, is also really nice. This is one of my favorite shapes and lengths from Daily Charm. I just think it's super flattering. And overall, the quality of these nail tips, you guys know, love the quality. We have that thicker free edge and then also the thinner cuticle area. I don't think I'm going to be using these in today's video just because I do have an idea in mind. I think I'm actually going to use their clear or their blush colored tips, but go ahead and give the video a like and comment below if you guys want me to try these. I am super excited to try this color and shape. The next item actually goes with those nail tips and it is their new rechargeable LED nail lamp. And it is a gooseneck. I'm so excited for this. Um, you guys know I love doing gel extensions, applying soft gel nail tips. And when they were coming out with this, I was very excited. So it is adjustable, freestanding. It is a UV LED gel curing lamp. And then it has a 60 second cure time. So excited for this. Another thing, it's rechargeable, which is super nice. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So we have the user, user manual. So this is honestly pretty self-explanatory. And then we have the actual nail lamp and it looks like a tool up, which I think is so cute. And then we have the charging cable, which is the USB and then the USB type C. And that's how you will plug this in to charge it up. Mine is actually already charged. And to turn it on, you just press this button. And then I believe it will have a 60 second timer to automatically turn off. But if you want it to turn off before that timer, you would just go ahead and press that button again. So mine is already um, charged, so I'm not going to worry about charging it, but it is small and I do like that um, just because I feel like it still gives you enough space and if you have a smaller area, I think this is really nice, more beginner friendly versus a larger one. Nothing wrong with it being too small or too large, but this is a really nice size. Also, like I can bend it in a lot of different ways and the nail lamp base is strong enough so that it doesn't fall over which is always something that I look for because 
with it being adjustable and having this gooseneck, I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to move it in any way that I need to with the base still being able to hold it up. And I'm finding that this one is absolutely perfect. So in today's video, I'm definitely going to be doing gel extensions and I will be trying this out and we will just look at this a little bit closer and I will give you guys kind of a look of me applying the nail tips and then using this to do my flash cures. And finally, the last item included in this nail haul before we jump into actually doing the nails is this little organizer case for your rhinestones or your charms. I have two of these filled up already and I needed another one. I just love using these to organize my rhinestones or my charms and I just think these are really nice because everything is together in one but they also come out separately so you can pull out what you want to use without needing to leave this big box out so I just think that's really nice. These containers also give you a lot of space to be able to put in larger charms, smaller charms and then they also I would say they would hold a good bit. So this is super nice. I also like how it does have that um, like clear window so that you are able to see what is inside. But like I said, I already have two of these filled up. This is another one of those just organized organizational items that I wanted to stock up on because I'm getting charms and I want to be able to organize them instead of keeping them in the little baggies. So I just decided to pick another one these one of these up because I do love my other two. So that's pretty much it with these. They also do have some other organizational items available, such as that sticker book that I showed. But that is everything from today's daily charm haul. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I will be linking all of these products down below in the description box. Daily Charm is one of my absolute favorite brands. They have so many good items. I mean, they have items that range from gel extensions to organizational items to decorations to charm gels so many things available on the website i also like i said have that discount code with daily charm that code is nailed by brandy okay so i have my peel off base coat applied and i am now ready to begin the nails so i did decide that i am going to use the medium coffin in the shade blush just because i want to do a pink nail set today but don't worry i will be trying the ivory ones um, just in a different video that would match better with the design that I want to do. So I wanted a pink beat base and these blush colored ones are absolutely perfect for that. Just look at this color, so gorgeous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get these sized out. That way we can apply them. quick and easy process to get these sized out. I noticed that these nail tips do fit me really nicely. If you do find yourself needing to do any customization to the nail tips, you can just quickly take a hand file and shape the nail tips that, so that they do fit you perfectly. But I have my nail tips all sized out. Now we are going to apply them. Like I said, I already have my peel off base coat applied. If you want the longevity out of your nails, keep in mind you will want to go in and prep your nails. To apply these nails, I will be using step number three, which is the extension gel. And then of course, we will be using the Flash Cure Nail Lamp. Okay, so I have you guys zoomed out just so you can see me using the new Flash Cure Lamp. I feel like this almost gives kind of like a behind the scenes look to things since usually I have everything zoomed in so you can't really see me doing the curing process. But I generally always have my nail lamp set off to the side and then I will have my nail tips and the glue gel and then I'll just apply the glue gel to the nail tips and use the Flash Cure Lamp. Lamp. I'm really excited to give this a try. So I am just going to apply the glue gel to the nail tips 
just like I usually would. I like to just take it and apply it like I'm brushing it on, painting where I estimate my natural nail to be, and then I will swoop the brush and just add a little extra product to the cuticle area so when I apply the nail tip to my natural nail, it's going to have enough product to cover the entire natural nail. I'll also, before applying the nail tip, I'll go ahead and turn the nail lamp on. It is on. Um, you can't see the light though, but you can see it is on. So um, I just feel like it's very dull, but we'll see. I'm sure it's going to cure just fine, even though you can't see it. I have so many lights on right now. I feel like that's the reason why you aren't able to see the light. But now I just apply the nail tip. I start at the cuticle area. I just make sure that the nail tip isn't touching the um, my cuticle. And then I slowly lower it. I realize I don't have enough product in this nail tip. So I just swipe it off. And then I'm going to come back in and apply a little bit more gel to the nail tip. And then I will go back in and try the process again, starting at the cuticle and then lowering it until the products reach the free edge. And then I'll go in and do my flash cure. For these colored nail tips, it is always best to do a flash cure of around like 20 to, or I'm, I apologize, flash cure for about 30 to 60 seconds just because they are colored and not clear so it does take a little bit longer for the light to reach through the colored nail tips. It really is super hard for me to see if this light is on just because it is so dull, dull but I feel like it is still powerful enough. I didn't have any problems with curing that nail. Everything flash cured just fine. So now I'm just moving on to the next nail, repeating the same process by applying the glue gel. And I will just repeat this to all of the nails, holding it in place while doing my 30 to 60 second flash cure. And then once I have all of the nails applied, that's when I will go into my larger nail lamp and do a full 60 second cure. So here are the nails after they are all applied and I have done my full 60 second cure. I just quickly want to talk about this nail lamp. I love it. I feel like it is perfect. It's powerful enough to be able to cure. I didn't have any issues using it for my flash cures. Keep in mind though that this is only a flash cure nail lamp. It is only for flash cures. So you can use this to do a quick flash cure but you will still need a large full powered nail lamp to do your full cure. This is not going to fully cure your product. It is only going to flash cure it. So for example, making the nail tips stay in place while I'm able to do all of the other nails. And then once they're all applied, that's when I will go into my full powered nail lamp and do my full cure. So just keep that in mind, but I really like this nail lamp if you're looking for a small, cute looking flash cure nail lamp. This is definitely the one. I also love how it's rechargeable. I feel like the light does seem very dull. That is something that I noticed. But I feel like one reason for that is just because I have so many lights on right now that it's just really hard to see it. But I didn't have any issues with the product curing. I feel like it was absolutely perfect for my flash cures.
So now I'm going to do a little bit of prep to these nails just to get them ready before I go in with my design. So I'm going to go in with a hand file to crisp up the shape. I will also be using my e-file and my 5-in-1 drill bit to seal around the cuticle. And then I will also be taking a buffer to remove the shine from the nail tips. Now that I am all finished filing and buffing, I'm just going to take my new dust brush to remove all of the nail dust. Here are how the nails are looking. I am now ready for my gel polish application. I am obsessed with these nails. The shape, the color, everything about them, they are just so gorgeous. I did decide that I'm going to use C12 Kitty. This is a cat eye gel polish. So gorgeous. Love this pink. I think it's going to look so nice with the um, nail tip color. And I have also decided that I'm going to use this magnet. I think I'm going to use this T shape here. I'm just really excited to try like the cat eye French tip. So I think I'm going to be doing this on some of the nails. And then I will also be using the cylinder magnet here because I think for some of the nails, I will also just be doing a full cat eye nail. So I'm really excited to play around with this. But I'm going to jump in and start applying my cat eye polish. I'm going to start on my index finger. So I cured that for 30 seconds. It looks so good. Um, I think I've decided that for my index pinky and my thumb, I'm just going to do a full nail. Possibly for my thumb, I may do a French tip. I haven't completely decided yet. I will end up doing this off camera though. But um, for these two nails, I want to try the French tip. And then I also thought that I could incorporate those bow stickers.
I'm actually very impressed with how that looks. I think it's so pretty. You could also fill it in too. I think that would look really nice. I'm not going to do that though just because I really like this effect. I feel like it's different. But I'm now going to take a lint-free wipe and just wipe the nails. And I can't decide if I want to go with the silver or the gold. I feel like the gold matches really nice with the pink. So I'm going to go with the gold. I'm now going to be taking my Diamond Shine top coat and going in with a layer of this. And then I will be curing for 30 seconds. I went ahead and did my thumbnail off camera. I am now taking my cuticle oil, applying that to my cuticles to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And I really love how these nails turned out. I also really liked playing around with the Ninja Star magnet from Daily Charm. I think it's super cool that I can now have so many magnets but have it be in one and have them all together with them like without them like touching each other in a sense. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys love cat eyes, you have a bunch of magnets that you guys play around with, then you more and likely know exactly what I'm talking about when you never know where to put your magnets because they're always going to be hitting off of each other and you don't want them to break. So having something like that Ninja Star is going to be so perfect for me. I also really like how all of the different ways that you can use it and how it has that cylinder magnet on it. I've also been seeing a couple other like bunny ears like with the whole like paperclip nail trend. So I'm gonna be trying that out. I think that will be a super cute like Easter or spring nail look. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. I absolutely love how these nails turned out. I will have everything that I showed in the nail haul and then everything that I did use in today's video linked down below in the description box along with my discount code and my affiliate link in case you guys do want to pick anything up for yourselves. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all next time.